Rochelle here and I'm back to share some yarn goodness with you all today. So today we are going to be talking about types of crochet hooks. We're going to be discussing inline, taper, and hybrid hooks. So let's go ahead and get started by first explaining the different parts of a crochet hook. The head, aka the hook or the point, is the part that goes into the stitch and pulls the yarn through the stitch. The next part is the shaft and the diameter of the shaft determines the hook size. The handle, of course, is where you hold the hook. The throat of the hook is what guides the yarn while you're crocheting. And the grip is your thumb rest. And most of the time, the hook size is printed on the grip. Now I've heard of other parts of a crochet hook, such as the, the lip, the groove, the bowl, but today we are going to be sticking to the most common names used when describing the uh, parts of a crochet hook. Let's talk about inline crochet hooks. An inline crochet hook means that the head and throat areas of the hook are in line with the rest of the hook. In comparison to a tapered hook, with inline hooks, the space between the hook and the shaft is deeper. The throat is flatter, the thumb rest is higher, and the head is pointier. Examples of inline hooks are those manufactured by Susan Bates. Up next, we have a tapered crochet hook. So a tapered crochet hook means that the throat of the hook is narrow or tapered. In other words, the head is not in line with the rest of the hook. It is called tapered because of the way the hook tapers down to a thinner throat. In comparison to the inline hook, the space between the hook and the shaft of the taper hook is not as deep. The head has a smaller amount of overhang and the thumb rest is further down. Also, the head is rounder. An example of a crochet hook that's made uh, in the tapered way are the boy hooks, which is one that I have here. So let's go ahead and move on to the hybrid hooks, which is this type of hook. Hybrid hooks are the best of both worlds. The shaft is tapered, the throat is deep, and the head is often pointy. Furl streamline hooks are an excellent example of hybrid hooks. According to furlscrochet.com, the head of every furls crochet hook is made to be a fusion style of Bates and boy styles. It is an inline hook, but not as sharp and will not split yarns like many other inline hooks. All right, so we have talked about these three different types of crochet hooks. Now let's talk about my preference. What do I like? What's my favorite type of crochet hook? Well, my favorite type of crochet hook is the tapered hook. I absolutely love it. So what I like about it is that the tapered throat seems to let my yarn move more smoothly. I find that inline hooks can cause my yarn to snag and split, but it's all about your individual preference. I'm not trying to persuade you to one type of crochet hook or the other. Really the best way to find out what is the best type of crochet hook for you is to try all of them. Just try all of them, see what you like, see what's more comfortable for you in your hands, see which ones work better with the type of yarn that you use. And so really, whether you use inline, tapered, or hybrid, it's really just a personal choice. Um, you basically just want to choose the style of hook that makes it more easier and more enjoyable for you to work on or work with. So let me know in the comments below, do you prefer inline hooks, hybrid hooks, or tapered hooks. So I will leave a link in the description box below to all of my favorite crochet tools and notions and all that stuff. Also check out my YouTube community tab. I ask a lot of fun crochet questions there. And if you want to continue watching, you can simply just click on one of the end screens at the end of the video. And also I will leave a link in the description box below to my Ko-Fi. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye. <laughs>